Welcome back to part 9 of the Construct 2 tutorial to create the Breakout Clone. Picking up right where we left off last time, right now we're trying to have our power-up display a random animation. So we need a way to select a random string. To do that, well, I've got a new object called Power-Up Names. It's an array. And I've put a whole bunch of elements on it. Also, with my array, I want to start that out size 0. I want it to be empty when I start. Then, after I run, I'm going to put these five things in it. I should have one of these for each power-up I have corresponding to each animation name that we see right here. Oops, each animation name that we see right here. All right, so I have those set up. Now what I'd like to do is when this is created, I need to take my power-up and I need to set the animation. Now here's the fun part. I need to get a random item from this array. So what I'm going to do is say, this is going to be power up names array value at something. But at what? Well, that depends on how many names are in the array. So I could just say something like power up names dot width. That'll tell me how many things are in the array. Um, but that would just give me the last element. So what I should do is enclose that with a random. So pick a random number here. Except now we've got a different problem that could also give you a decimal number. So I'm going to say floor around it down to the nearest integer. And that should do it. All right, let's give this a try. So about half the time, I should hopefully get a random one of those five animations. Come on, you power-ups. There we go. Oh, it didn't do anything! That's because I don't have a collision event set yet. However, you do notice that I am getting random power-ups. Alright. Let's continue. So, going back to Construct. Whenever my paddle collides with something. Now, great thing is I can reuse the cheat codes right here. What I'm going to do is actually delete this condition. I'm going to add a different condition. Add Whenever the paddle collides with a power-up. And, well, if I want to play the normal, the name of that power-up animation had better be normal. So if the power-up, let's see, animation is playing normal ball. In that case, I want to set that animation to normal. I also want to destroy the power-up. I don't want to get it more than once. So destroy. All right, now I just have to basically let's see, delete. See on collision with power up. It's animation normal ball playing. Delete that. Delete this. Delete this. Just change these names. Edit. This should be if you collide with a small ball. Edit. If you collide with a large ball, edit. If you collide with a fireball, and edit. If you collide with a through ball, power up. All right. So in any one of these cases, I should set the corresponding animation and destroy the power. Okay. Let's also change this to, it's no longer really cheat codes, but power-ups. Okay. Let's head on back. Oh, before we do that, I really want to test this out, so I'm going to give this a much higher possibility here. Uh, let's say this is larger than 80%. Let's try it out. Come on, power-ups. Small ball! Fireball! Oh, ho, ho. Awesome. Normal ball. Hoping to get that through ball before I run out of time. Yes! Yeah, you probably don't really want to have this many power-ups leaving, but there you go. You got some random power-ups. Um, next time, we'll just set up the paddle power-ups as well, and then we're going to start putting some finishing touches on. We're almost finished. Oh, look at me go.